Not sure about Miss Lucy. Let's find out in the Studio 10 kitchen. Luce, are you a cheese fan? I would say she is. You make a lot of things Absolutely. with cheese. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, I love cheese. And I missed the memo. Had I known I, that it was today, then, know, but of course, typically we have no cheese on our menu today. Exactly. And let me tell you what is on the menu today. It's a beef stir fry with peanut sauce. This is right up my alley, Lucy. It is. I know your family loves to cook. Yeah. And um, I hope I make you proud with this recipe. I think you are seeing this little uh, this little shot right here of the finished product. It looks amazing and Dang. so delicious. So we want to go ahead and get started, Lucy. Okay. We've got a ton of different veggies, a lot of colors going on this morning. Yes. And the fun thing about stir fry is you can put whatever options you like you know whatever veggies it's a great clean out the fridge um, recipe because you can just throw in whatever of course you can use whatever protein or you know make it veggie um, today we're going to do beef stir fry like you said so I have a New York strip a boneless New York strip that um, it's about a pound and we're gonna thinly slice it here in a little bit mm -hmm. but I thought that we could mix up our sauce first. Let's go ahead. So we are going to start with a quarter cup of peanut butter. In these Asian dishes uh, peanut sauce peanut butter it's kind of odd if you think about it, if you never had it it's really a staple that peanut taste in these dishes. It is and you know what's funny is you know really not too many years ago some of these ingredients that we're using today weren't readily available but now um, we have all of these ingredients and the hoisin sauce, I mean, of course, soy sauce, the rice wine vinegar, just right there um, on our Asian, in our Asian section in our grocery stores. So yeah. you don't have to run around to a lot of different specialty markets to get some of those basic um, Asian flavors. So the hoisin sauce, um, I know, you know, most people just describe it as Chinese barbecue sauce, right. but it's soybean based and um, has some tomato paste in it. It's really rich in flavor. Um, and if you you do not have this and you want to make it without it it's absolutely fine you know your sauce is still going to be delicious this is just going to kind of add us that richness in there um and so we're also going to add i'm going to add a quarter cup of water just to thin it out then i'm going to do an eighth of a cup of soy sauce yeah and a couple of tablespoons of this rice wine vinegar i'm using the seasoned one if you have the one that is unseasoned that's perfectly fine too um so this is going to give us a good acidity in here now I like to use this. Um, my family always uses it in salad dressing. Oh, I so, wouldn't even think to do yeah, that. Yeah, so it's really good. Um, and then the last thing, wow, I forgot our key ingredient. I forgot the sriracha. Oh, you I know. know. I unloaded it's my box and I was like, oh my gosh. So I would typically add a tablespoon of sriracha in here, which of course gives it um, some heat, but just delicious flavor. Right. So I don't have that today. Well, if but you don't like sriracha, this is perfect then. Absolutely. And if you didn't have that, you could just add in some crushed red pepper flakes for right. some heat or of course you know just don't do any heat um so that's it for our sauce i'm just gonna whisk this up yummy and Lucy, this, this will be great. ready we're gonna add our sauce really kind of towards the end because we want to get um we'll slice up this beef next so i kind of want to show everybody how to do that and um you know another quick tip we're gonna do is using that um classic coleslaw bag yeah so the carrots and the cabbage is already shredded up for you so that's just a really quick um grocery store staple that you could pick up without having to slice anything up. So. This is so easy for a weeknight meal. Before mm -hmm. we go real quick, I want to talk about um, Greer's. I saw your Facebook post this morning. You had a <laughs> really, a really cute helper this morning in your Greer's market. I did. I forgot a few things that I needed for this morning. So Spiro was taking the, the big kids, we call them, three big <laughs> kids to school. And um, so I had to take Skittle, which is what we call Mary Barton. So and cute. she um, helped me at the grocery store. We ran down to Dauphin Street and got a few things so she um it's so funny i usually shop online right so i usually um just pull up outside and they bring the groceries out so my youngest is kind of deprived of going in the grocery store <laughs> um so she was wide-eyed and had a blast this morning some one-on-one -on -one time um and we were actually in the store <laughs> i love it just a little field trip for her yeah well, when we come back we'll learn more about that grocery pickup okay. website going inside the stores all of that next right here on studio 10 michael Welcome back into our Studio 10 kitchen. 
And right there, you're looking at some beef stir fry with peanut sauce. That's what we're <laughs> making today with Lucy Greer from uh, Greer's Markets. And uh, it just looks delectable, Lucy. Even through this mask, I can <laughs> still smell how great that that dish is uh, is turning out so far. Thanks. We are smelling the um, beef. We have already started browning off um, some of our New York strip. So I was just cutting up the rest of it. Okay. So um, if you have a wok, of course, you know, use a wok. You can use a big skillet to do this in. Um, I'm just kind of using a big pot because we're going to add in some veggies later. So I had some oil in here and I'm just doing, a, you know, I did half the beef. Okay. Um, so if you put it all in at one time, then it's not going to get a nice brown sear on it. There's going to be too much in the pan and the pan's going to cool down and it's just not going to get the it color won't turn that out you want. Good. It's yeah. not going to turn out as good. So um, I'm just thinly slicing this and I have a a boneless New York strip that um, that our guys over at the Cottage Hill store cut for me. Um, of course, we still cut all of our meat in house right there in the store. So you can go up to the um, to the men or women back there in the market and ask for anything specific that you want. So if you wanted um, a thin steak, you know they'll cut you a thin one if you want thick. So it's um, so nice to be able to just go in there and ask for particular things. So. Um, I'm doing this beef. We're just gonna brown it just for a couple minutes. We just want to get some color on it, and um, That's and a then good after sound that, too. yeah, I know. <laughs> so after that, like I said, I already did half of it. So you just pull it out, and then after we do our beef, then we'll start adding all our veggies. Now I heard a rumor that you guys have a Greer store in downtown that's going to be opening very, very soon. Is that right? Yes. So we are so excited about our new store that is coming to St. Louis Street. Okay. Um, anyone that is familiar with downtown knows that that part of downtown um, is continuing to develop. And we are, you know, we, we went into an old building and with a lot of old buildings, um, a lot of things came up during our, <laughs> during our um, remodel process. So it's taken us a lot longer, but we're thrilled over it because it's going to be um, a unique little store. Um, it's going to be heavy on perishables, heavy on take home meals, um, fresh meat and seafood, and um, you'll be able to go in for breakfast and lunch and really? dinner. Yeah, we'll have, um, you'll be able to come in and have a glass of wine, have a beer. Um, we'll have a huge dining area and we're really happy to be able to to serve the people of downtown. There's a surge of people, you know, moving down there, but you have to have a grocery store in order for um, to people really to be able to live down there. So um, we'll still have our store at Government and Broad. Okay. Um, and that serves, you know, the other side of downtown. So we are still going to have that store and um, this store will be, you know, just kind of a different concept and just offer people um, a different shopping area. I mean, different shopping experience downtown. Well, we are going to be keeping you up to date on this delectable and I mean fantastic beef stir fry with peanut sauce. And of course, we'll have the information about Greer's on our website, fox10tv.com, under the Studio 10 tab. And when we come back, Lucy, what are we going to be doing next? Okay, I'm going to take this out because it's browning up and I'm going to start adding our vegetables. So I'm going to get those cooking and then we're going to pull it all together with our sauce. Fantastic. All right, we'll have that information on the website and we'll check in with Lucy in just a few more minutes. Chelsea? Welcome back to Studio 10. We were with our good friend Lucy Greer from Greer's Markets. You guys, we're finishing up this beef stir fry with peanut sauce. Yes. Lucy, this this looks amazing, smells amazing, but what I really like about it, it's got a lot of color in there. Yes, and it came together so fast. Yeah. So it's perfect for a weeknight meal. We have this whole pot is all of our veggies. So we had a red, yellow, orange bell pepper. I did a little bit of red onion, um, some fresh broccoli, and then I grabbed one of the bags of coleslaw mix mm -hmm. with the cabbage and the carrots. So after we browned up our um, our New York strip, I just, you know, did it for a couple minutes on each side just to, we thinly sliced that first, I should right. say. And then um, we just put a little color on it. So I'm going to add that back in. And now we're going to add our peanut sauce that we made Yum. with all those ingredients over there, our peanut butter and our hoisin sauce and our soy sauce and our rice wine vinegar and um, we put a little bit of fresh orange juice in there and I told you I forgot the sriracha but you could um, you know not even put it or you right. could add this recipe calls for a tablespoon you could put more or less um, and at this point we are just going to let that 
beef, you know, reheat since we've had it out of the pot. And you can serve this over rice, cauliflower rice. If you're a noodle person, of course, you could do lo mein noodles or, you know, just go simple and just get spaghetti noodles, right. you know, cook them. Um, so, or, you know, if you're just not wanting any carbs, you could just eat it like this. So it comes together so quick and it's so nice to be able to get all, oops, all those <laughs> veggies, you know, into a meal. Exactly. Because it's the hardest to, to get veggies in. So a dish like this um, really makes it easy. Something that I love about Lucy and the recipes that she makes here on Studio mm -hmm. 10, your recipes are family friendly and quick and easy for those yes. weeknights, right? Absolutely. I love to share things that are quick and easy because no matter, you know, what your lifestyle is, most people people don't love to spend a ton of time in the kitchen. Sure. Um, so even though I like to cook, you know, I don't want to be in there for over an hour trying to cook supper. Um, so absolutely, I try to share things that I feel like people can make and they can get their ingredients, you know, right there at Greer's. It's, I don't like to use, you know, things that you, that you can't get at our stores. So um, like we talked about, you know, all these, um, a lot of things are so much more um, readily available now. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to go to an Asian market to find, um, you know, any of these ingredients. So it's um, really nice to be able just to, to hop into the store and, and grab what you need. This looks absolutely amazing. You can make this for dinner tonight. And of mm -hmm. course, we'll have all the information on our website after the show. It's fox10tv.com under the Studio 10 tab. Lucy, if they want to come visit a Greer's Market or find you guys online to find another recipe, where can they do that at? They can do greers.com. And if they want to shop online with us, they can go to greers.com slash shop or um, download our free app in the app store and we can do we can gather up all these ingredients for you and you can just drive up to the store and pick it up <laughs> easy peasy you guys Lucy's back with us every Wednesday so you'll see her next Wednesday for another delicious meal Michael